Hello guys and welcome back by Ravenous Devils. Let's open shop and let's do this. Oh, I still cannot go up. I forgot about that. But we have sausages now, so that's good. Beating the... Okay. Alright, people come in. We're ready. We have two nice dress things, clothings. We have food. Everything should be fine. Is this like drying sausages now or something? Hello, girl. Oh, you bought that one. Good. I think I own the most of that. Oh, I did. Alright. I need to try and see why I earn per thing. Well, good for you. Pick up the sausage. Place it there. You do nothing. Alright, what do we get for that? Two. Alright, so that's better. Oh, sorry. I was paying, not paying attention. There we go. Baking sausages. Making sausages meat. Hmm. Alright, let's see. How did that look again? A pie or a meatball? What will be your <laughs> All right, that's, sorry, that's kind of hilarious. That smells. This is a masterpiece. <clears throat> All right, everything up there is good. Only two sausages from one body, all right. Oh, I got a lot of money from the sausages. Oh, maybe I should clean up the blood, otherwise nobody will come. Shit. Two bucks again. One forty. One forty. This is a masterpiece. Yeah, see, we earn more from the food. Last clients. I didn't even get three. Oh, I'm disappointed. I failed this one. Oh no! I still got a client here. Moving. Oh. Oh, I was just murdering someone. Good morning, Mr. Percival. Am I too early? The shop still seems to be closed. Good morning. 
Not at all, Lady Ellisman. Please, do come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I have an appointment. Please, be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. He was just killing someone in there. <gasps> it is gone! This must be the place. The trap door. Those clothes. Oh my god. Everything Jack told me was true. Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he will react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Here I am. Let's get to work. Um... I was thinking something delicate. Maybe light blue tones? Is this dress for a special occasion? If you don't mind me asking. A, a funeral. Well then. If I may offer my opinion, I'm not sure light blue is practically suitable for a funeral. It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anyone will say anything to me. It will be the one laying in the coffin. What do you mean? I'm dying. And there's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden. It's asking to die without suffering too much. But maybe... I am sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Please, sir, for Percival. You need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for a lady. You were just uh, starting anyway. Maybe it was a mistake coming here. I I'm so sorry. I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. Was she alright? Did you tra traumatize her somehow? I haven't touched her. She said that she's dying of a disease. Poor soul. Anyway, what is so important? Let's go, I'll show you. I oh, know. So, do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new here? Hmm... No. Look up there. I put up some flowers. Oh, I see. I decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. Do you like it? It's a good start. But... You definitely need something more. Did you seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important. We'll make customers happier. Uh, fine. Go back to killing. Apparently that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Goodbye. I like the story uh, with it, though. The story between the two and everything. Alright, so... I have an upgrade to do. This is full. This is not full. So what I was doing is making food and fill it up. <clears throat> and this will go to ways of one tray. Baking time. Baking time. No. As fast as I can. Alright, so it rolls. So, upgrade. Mill. M3. Oh, M3 mill, please. My dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in a previous letter, I've been observing your steps for a long time. And to be honest, you intrigue me even more, even before arriving here in Hilter's Blue Lake. When it comes to food, there's no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in Merseyside, where you made a lot of money. Unfortunately, something went wrong at a point along the way and the local com competition accused you of selling red meat, damaging your business reputation. I remember seeing the news on all the local papers. I knew it would not be long before the authorities launched an investigation. Then suddenly, a fire. I do wonder which one of you came up with the brilliant idea. 
Your brave shop turned to rubble, nothing left beside ashes, and two unrecognizable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. They thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this happened, you had already boarded your train. Brilliant. I must confess that I almost fell for it too. Later, a mysterious couple, priding themselves on offering the best meat pies in town, opened up a new shop in South Fork. Many of my friends had said that you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady. A beautiful woman. It could all have been just one big coincidence. Two different couples, two different places, and it would have been nothing odd about any of it. But something did not quite add up to, it, to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop of South Fork closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry with a very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? And here we are now, hither at Blue Lake. The same story, a foreign couple cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all. And as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all of your customers who entered your shop also left. I did not blame you for your practices. After all, it's hard to find high quality meat these days. Okay. I only have 28, so I can make an upgrade, I think. And that's about it, again. I can make another workbench. Other speed's not doable, a meat grinder upgrade is doable. Um, that is doable. Zoom is speed 20, 30, 35, 25, a 10. I want to upgrade my zoom speed. And I only have eight, so I cannot do anything. All right. Well, open the shops again, I think. Yeah, no, I, I want to make sure that this is full. And then place you. <clears throat> yes, I'm pick it up. Thank you. Place it in there. Baking time. I'm ready that up. Alright, everything is ready there, and there we just need bodies. Because we only have two and two. We just need bodies, Mr. Percival. Could you make us more money and give us bodies? Oh, well, food is coming in. I need to do these two because that will give me a lot of money, I guess. And the second one here. I need one here. Oh, there we go. Two! Nice. There's someone buying from me, most likely. Yes, and we have a body there. Okay, let's see how fast this one goes now. Oh, quite a foster. That's good. Um, I like this color. All right, there we go. Wait. 
All right. Every time I think, okay, they're not still going to say anything again, then I go away, and then you start talking. We got 28 already! Holy shit, we had 8, we already got 20 bucks. I'm happy about Oh, I'm flacking behind. There's blood everywhere. No shit, Sherlock. You just killed someone. Girl, move your ass. Lost client all. Forty one. All right. All right. So I can probably do something with that. Ah, uh, almost at 45. Help me, please. Have you seen my parents? My mother, my mother. I can't find my mother. What's wrong, little one? Um, my mom left yesterday because she needed to patch her coat. But she never came back. Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. There's strange times, little boy. There's danger to be walking out around the city alone. No, come on. Get out of here. I need to open the shop soon. But, madam, please. I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? All right. I think I have some leftovers. Thank you so much, madam. You're an angel. Goodbye. Oh. And even today, I'm sure of a place in heaven. <laughs> I don't think so, but this was this for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next one that I make. Bye bye.